it was weird for a couple of reasons. It was the first, it's the first game in the Aviva that I haven't played in, um, be it Leinster or Ireland. So um, it was quite weird, actually, to be honest. Um, I was hoping to hold on to that for for a while longer, but uh, that was quite weird. And then it's the first game I've I've gone to see uh, Ireland play since I started playing professional rugby. So that's nearly ten years now. Um, so it's strange on both sides, uh, but it was enjoyable. It, it was great. Um, you know, it was great to support the lads. We we put a big emphasis on the squad, and um, you know, it, but but yeah, it was it was strange. It was really really enjoyable. Uh, Conor Murray brought a little pack out of of uh, jelly sweets for us, so we were all set there in the stand. Uh, looking forward to this weekend now, and you know, an old friend has come and calling, uh, now a rival. Uh, what does Michael Checker's knowledge of the Leinster and Irish rugby setup mean for this weekend? Um, I th you know, it's going to be interesting, you know, come, come game day, how, how it will all pan out. But, you know, uh, very fond memories of Czechs. Um, he did a massive job in, in transforming uh, the Leinster organisation, not just the team as such, but the organisation. And, um, you know, I think any Leinster supporter, fan, player uh, will be forever grateful for that, for what he's done. Um, you know, I've met him since. I met him, you know, I've played against his side, a side he's coaching over when uh, I was playing with the Lions against the, the Taz and uh, chatting to him afterwards and stuff. And um, he's his, uh, you know, how do I say his, his no, not eccentric, but his unique self. Um, and, I, and, and he's, he's great crack and um, when it comes to coaching he knows us obviously intimately uh, especially the Leinster players and I'm sure he'll he'll um, he'll give them insights that maybe they don't necessarily have had before but uh, knowing checks he, he won't spend too much time on that I would imagine and, and, and would be very much about getting his side ready so all the focus is on the game for Saturday yeah, yeah absolutely um, this week we, we only did a walk through yesterday because the guys played on on Sunday there was a couple of banged up bodies <coughs> um, so we, the focus though completely has all been about uh, Australia you know we, we did them in our in our prep week where there was no game we spent uh, you know two days on them and and a couple of days on on uh, South Africa because of the lead time we knew we were going to have coming into this game so uh, you know we're, we're, we're focusing on their threats giving them the respect that's due because they've got some cracking players. Um, and uh, yeah, they're basically trying to prepare ourselves the best we can and, and then focus on us and get our stuff right because um, that's what we're all about. And you'll have the jellies after the match this weekend. Well, they're always there. They're there in the change room before and after and sometimes Raleigh even sneaks a couple into, uh, into his room the night before and we're all cleaning our boots. But uh, make sure Ruth doesn't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs>